Hello, if you are new here, my name is Becca, and today I have a lot of laundry to catch up on, and I mean a lot. So that's what I have this table set up here for. I always use this card table instead of the kitchen table, so that way I can sit on the couch and fold my laundry. And I am usually watching a show, but today I wanted to do a little catch up, so I brought you in front of me instead. So first things first, if you have seen any of my other videos, you may or may not have noticed that I chopped my hair off. Yeah, I've been growing it out for three years. I don't get proper haircuts whenever I grow my hair out. I just trim it at home with my own hair scissors whenever I see fit. It was time for a change. I usually grow and chop it every two years. This time it turned out to be more like three and I kept telling myself and my husband, whenever we get pregnant, I'm gonna chop my hair off so I can like get into my like mom phase, like my mom look, you know? But we didn't get pregnant this last cycle, sadly. And I decided that I just wanted my hair gone anyway. So now whenever I do get pregnant, I'm ready. I'm in my mom phase already. Good to go. And I love the haircut. I think it's super cute. I feel super cute. It's so easy. I actually wear it down now instead of throwing it up to get it out of my way. Um, it doesn't get caught in my armpits or underneath Jared when we cuddle on the couch or anything like that. And I would highly recommend it. <laughs> it took me three years instead of two this time because last time I got a haircut, it was too short and I had just started to become a little chubby <laughs> and it made my face look way fatter <laughs> whenever I chop my hair off. So I've been scared too since then, um, but I've lost quite a bit of weight and this is it, baby. This is me. I feel so good and comfortable. Yeah. I love it and it still makes a cute little ponytail. So as I briefly mentioned, we are not pregnant and I kind of had an epiphany whenever I got my period. <laughs> and it was that I was relieved and I did not understand why I was relieved because I wanna be pregnant so badly, but I think that it was the uncertainty. I was just putting a lot of pressure on myself, like on my own body to make it happen and it didn't happen and then like I felt weird and guilty the whole time i was stressed that it wasn't gonna happen and like what would that feel like if i'm not able to get pregnant we've been trying for like two months <laughs> and then i knew what it felt like and it really didn't feel that bad and then i had my answer and could like breathe we had to talk about it and i think that i'm in a much better place now where it's like we're just gonna go with the flow and keep living our lives and um if it happens it happens and i'll still track my ovulation and track my, you know, what we do <laughs> throughout the month, just so that if a year has passed and we still aren't pregnant, I'll be, I'll like have data to be able to take to the doctor. But other than that, I mean, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself. And yeah, I feel good going into this next cycle. In other news, we have booked our vacation for the summer. We are going to Las Vegas and neither of us have ever been. I'm not a big crowd person, so it's like, well, why would you go to Vegas? But I think it's gonna be fine. If I'm not pregnant, I will be drinking, <laughs> which will help. And if I am pregnant, we will not be drinking, obviously. But it'll still be fun nonetheless. We have booked the hotel and the flights and all three shows that we're gonna see while we're there. And basically all we have to do now is show up. And the only other money that we'll be spending is like, if we go shopping or out to eat. And Jared has a friend that he, met playing PlayStation whenever he was a teen, who obviously he still talks to, and he lives in Las Vegas and is actually security at the hotel that we are staying at. Just happened that we picked that same hotel because we didn't know where he worked. But honestly, I like kind of feel relieved because we'll have somebody in the vicinity, you know, who knows what's going on since he lives there. And I think that we'll probably take like a couple hundred dollars to gamble with just to see what happens but we have already talked about boundaries and limits and stuff like that so we shouldn't be coming back poor hopefully yeah i'm really excited i think it'll be fun and then jared has another week of vacation to take still because we will use that to go on our baby moon because i mean i'm still keeping up faith that i'm gonna get pregnant of course so i think that that'll be happening in the next year or so and for that one, I have requested that we just go somewhere where there is a beach and where we can relax and do nothing but like swim and lounge around and eat and 
chill, you know? So that's one reason that we're going to Vegas to get all of that energy out. So that way we can have a nice chill baby moon when the time comes. Gosh, I knew there was a lot of clothes, but I did not think that I realized just how many there are. I'm trying to think of what else to tell you. I saw this post of this video, maybe online recently. And it was talking about how weird it is whenever people say that they're trying for a baby because they're like, you know, obviously doing the do, uh, full throttle. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, people were like, yeah, I just don't, I don't even know that. I'm like, what do you think that married couples do? What do you think couples do? I don't, you're the weird one. Still trying to go to the gym regularly. I'm drinking a Celsius right now and I have sourdough in the oven. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the gym. I went yesterday and actually did some weight machines for the first time ever by myself. And it really wasn't that bad. It was only a little bit scary because whenever I first got there, it was only dudes at the machine area. But then by the time I got off the treadmill and went back over to the machines, there were some girls there and I felt more comfortable. And honestly, I just walked around and looked and looked up the machines that I didn't know how to do. And it was fine. I didn't die. So I think I'm going to try to do that again today. I'm soon going to just be underneath a pile of clothes. Okay. Before that happens, I'm going to go ahead and end this. I think that I've talked enough. Thanks for listening to me. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Still trying to have a baby, chopped my hair off, going on vacation. Still trying to go to the gym regularly. Still making bread. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Life's good. Hope yours is good too. If it's not, it will be eventually. Okay, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.